Alrighty, so what we're going to do here, I've just restarted my server because I need, uh, we need .NET 4.8 installed. So I've just installed that and you know, we've added a couple of things that required a reboot before we can uh, manage the exchange schema or extend our schema. So while these services are getting back up and running, they should all automatically start. If they don't, then I mean, you can start them manually, but ideally you would have them auto start just so that you can have them, you know, you can schedule a maintenance window and get back in. Uh, what have we got? Oh, there's no sync going on. Uh, right, so what we want to do here, uh, if you just search plan and deploy exchange schema, uh, right, we've got this one, uh, basically click on that first link and come up to here updates for exchange and then click this one where you can download this ISO Alright uh, Okay This one here just start It should start on its own But I'm being impatient All right, so now I've previously downloaded the ISO. That's this one here. So you just double click to mount. And there's .NET 4.8. Cool, so there we are, DVD drive E. Right, cool. And now all of these, so because they need, well, they don't need it to run, but they just work better if it's already running that AD sync. So that's why I didn't just do them all at once. So and now they're all started. Uh, they would have eventually just started. Uh, but what we want to do bring up a admin command prompt uh, and we need to go to E to make sure that it's mounted yep okay then we go set up let's see I accept Exchange server license and underscore. I am lost.com. AAB organization and just put your domain name without any dot com or .org or whatever, just everything before that. Actually, I've been using this, where you could also just put that. That will prep the active directory. Uh, 
providing our spell things right. So we want to remove this E. Accept exchange server license terms, diagnostic data on. That is the most ridiculous argument I've seen in a command line. So if anyone from Microsoft is actually seeing this, like, that is just so long and dumb. Like, just change it to something short. So we run this, it's an unattended setup. So we're not, I mean, we've got the exchange server installation ISO, but we're not actually installing exchange. We're just installing the AD schema part of exchange. Uh, right. Oh, that's organization name, sorry. So we're just installing the schema. So that will allow us to manage exchange-based settings with our on-prem user accounts. That way you can update things like the aliases. You can manage whether or not they're hidden from a global address list. Uh, it allows you to do things such as um, you, know, you can update organization details, you can put custom parameters on, so you, know, you can customize certain parameters and attributes. Uh, if they are yeah, you'll get say they're from a different department uh, we'll go through that in a later episode okay. if they're in a different department you can set a custom attribute which will automatically sign them up to specific distribution groups and that way you can have all of your dynamic distribution groups updated as people come and go now when you offboard a user account you can set their mailbox as a shared mailbox so it sits there archived and um, then you can run these attributes here against their mailbox and that will allow things like you know hiding from distribution groups and lists and uh, so they don't appear in the global address list uh, if you recall i couldn't do that to the on-prem account I'll be able to once this has been completed. So this could take a little while. Um, if you get any errors in here, uh, most likely your errors are going to be you've got an unsupported character in your org name. Uh, you spelled one of these things wrong, or uh, if you've installed something previously and haven't rebooted since, this includes Windows updates. Now, if you've got auto updates going, you won't be aware of when they've been installed. But it, it will tell you there's a pending reboot, so you've got to reboot. If you haven't got .NET 4.8 installed beforehand and performed a reboot, then that's going to fail on you. 
So make sure you've got that. Um, so I've come through and this is all good. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but I'll just mention it again. The account that you run this command from must be enterprise admin and schema admin. As long as you are in these two groups, see now this is a new group that's popped up. It's added me in. So it's an exchange security group. And that means we just successfully configured uh, our, like we've prepared our AD. So now what we have to do, uh, we can just press up and we want to make this one pair all domains. and this will prep <laughs> it'll go through our active directory find any domains that are configured in our forest um i only have one more often than not you'll only come across one inside of any ad forest unless you're working for like massive massive corporation and I'm talking like massive like you know thousands of employees uh, I've worked I've personally worked in a team that had around about we were just shy of nine, 950 active user accounts. Uh, and we still only operated out of one domain. That's not to say, you know, everyone with less than a thousand seats is going to be a single domain. No, that, that's not true like everything is I mean it's all managed the same but they're all unique to their own purpose and how the person set them up not everybody follows the same standards so, right so that's been set up uh, Right, and now we can uh, we can now is the domains being prepared? Uh, what we can do. Because, I mean, we can go prepare domain. Should be able to do that. But because this server is a member of that domain, uh, we could have just had prepare domain with nothing at the end of it. Right, so this will go through. This should be the last step. Right, we've prepped everything. It's going to go through. I mean, it. <laughs> this is like a pretty advanced process, but. Um, It, it's not as hard as what it seems. I mean, sure, you can 
really screw this up and just break everything. But if you do it exactly like that, uh, you should now find in the attribute room. Can't remember if you need to reboot again after. I mean, knowing Windows, Windows is just reboot after reboot. Oh, you edited a text document, reboot. Yeah, but uh, we should be able to go M. Yeah, see, so we've got the this mouse man that's driving me nuts. We've got our mail, mail nickname. Uh, the MS Exchange, we should have MS Exchange. Uh, where is it? So there's our extension attributes. So MS Exchange, immutable ID. That's a good one. Uh, and hide from address lists. So that's successfully installed. Um, now we can bring our sync editor over. Uh, we can configure uh, customize sync options. Oh, actually, I want to refresh directory schema. I think I may just have the wrong account there. Actually, screw up. Let's just use this account. So that one, yeah, it, it needed an account with full rights across Azure AD. So, right, so that's going to update our schema in Azure AD. It's going to, that we can check our sync over here great now it's bringing up errors again when was that it's got that stupid permission issue again all right i'm just gonna repair that while i'm here Right, so schema refreshed for those directories. Uh, just gonna come up and go here. Events. Events and the MSOL.
So that should hopefully sort that out. Um, let's see, there's a new one. Yeah, it's only just been done. Uh, now we have my sync options. Get back to there. Cool. Done. Optional features. Uh, so the hybrid. Deployment. Set it attributes right. Throw that in. Uh, directory extensions right. So if we go to show. Here we go. We've got our MS Exchange attributes in here now. I like to pick all the extension attributes. Yeah, it doesn't like this. Yeah, you have to still pick them individually instead of being able to shift click them. All of those and get the find from address lists. Right. Move that over right. So we've got the 100 selected. It sounds about right. Could probably take those out, give ourselves like 10 to work with. Right, so that means we go to go back mailbox. Right, where is it? Uh, so we want the immutable ID and SIDS. Jeez. Let's just take that. Take back another 10 of them and then, right, there we go. Cool. And we've got 16 more that we can get. Generally want. Um, Mail. Right, so mail and mail nickname we want in as well. Turn up mailboxes.
Right, that should just about do it. Our right back group. It's not letting me configure anything. It's not really necessary to configure here anyway. Uh, we've got it pre configured, it is under there. And it does eventually, it's just got to check a whole bunch of stuff, I can't be bothered with it right now. Uh, we've got single sign on done, right, so now it's going to go through and configure. Uh, right so here's what it's going to do, enable some extensions update the connector and then configure the sync. Uh, just going to double check. Where is it? There it is. Just going to double check. Yeah, so the inheritance is there. All of these are in there. That should sort out that error. It's the same error that popped up in the previous video. Yeah, so it's trying to add this to here. But it can't because it's not allowed. Yeah, we didn't add anything, we just so config complete. Right, here we go. So we've got some updates, what's going on here. So there's an update to this user, which is one of those things. Yeah. Just what I expected, it's updating our exchange stuff as well. Uh, three ads. All right, what have we added? So it's added a device. Yeah, it's added another device and another device. My phones have been added. Right, so no sync errors. Uh, if I come over here, hit F5 to refresh. Probably won't say I'm under there, but probably under here, yeah. So these are the devices that have been written back from the server. Alright, uh, attribute editor. It'll tell you in there which one is which. I, mean, I can't really manage these devices from here, but I can. <coughs> I can. <coughs> oh, sorry, perform certain tasks with them. Uh, no groups have been written back. Right, now what I want to do, now that I'm certain all that's been working, uh, we can come into here, mail nickname. Uh, actually, come do yourself a favour. Right. That's actually okay. Yeah, 
it's going to cause problems. Um, <coughs> It'll cause problems until I can bring my domain over. So I just use the mail address there. Copy that. So you want it in both mail and mail nickname. Uh, and then come down to the MS Exchange attributes. Come down to hide from hide from address list. All right, set to true. And that's a string. Yeah, uh, that that's only necessary for when things get broken. You can update that immutable ID to what it's supposed to be, and that will fix it. Right, uh, that should actually be enough. That should be enough to hide it. Um, start the AD sync cycle. Just a delta sync is all we need. All right, we can watch it here. Updates two. And what updated here? Right, it looks like it's put my um <laughs> my domain here. Yeah, cool. Right, so they actually just updated. Now if we go to right, if we go back to here. Give that a refresh. Cool, that looks good. You can look under mail. It still says yes. Uh, it can take a little while to sync. Yeah, there we go. Showing global address list. No. So what that should do is the next time the next time we'll go that's teams cache is a real pain in the butt because it is just super persistent but when you go into outlook and open this up. That's our offline global address list. Right. So we can update our offline global address list. Right. Of course, they're still going to be in there, aren't they? But that's our live global address list. They do not show up in there anymore. So, you know, just say for instance, you know, we've got a user, no longer works for the company, disable their account to remove them from the address list. You need to sync those attributes over. So that's a good uh, sort of quick lesson on setting all that up. You follow those steps and you can't go wrong. Alrighty, until next time, have a good one.